Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for, um, it's for the sign of Pisces and this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense to you or you're just not feeling comfortable with it and just leave it there. It'll be good, you know, for another time. Um, it's a general reading, so it's okay and it's completely normal. If ever you do have any questions or you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to um, send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can... Um, find the solutions to the uh, or find the solutions to the questions that you do have um, so that being said if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed maybe the first time or multiple times that you've been here please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated so with no further weekly reading I have the Queen I have the Raven the Moon the Black Cat, Serendipity, The Boot, The Lady, The Fish, The Grapes, and Kisses. Alright, so you're going to have to be careful a little bit. It almost looks a little bit Halloweenish. I have the Raven and the Moon and the Black Cat. Let's begin. We're going to begin over here with the Queen, okay? Uh, and we're going to go through this. So, um, the Queen is really about, um, if I'm looking at the rest of the reading here, uh, this Queen is about troubles. There's going to be a little bit of troubles in the love department this week. Um, it could be a little bit of lack, maybe, a lack of love this week. Maybe we're a little bit less intoler a little less tolerant. Um, there's a loss of confidence. I feel as though there's a loss going on also um, into the relationship. Why is it going on? Ugh, we have darkness looms on the horizon that is coming next. So this is all about the raven. So of course this is going to be a little bit about secrets. And um, the raven is just, um, it's an omen. It's an omen of warning to, um, of ill portent, okay? Of bad intentions. Somebody has bad intentions towards you. And I'm not saying right now that this is your partner. I'm simply saying that somebody in your surrounding has bad intentions towards you. So this is just about having bad luck. Um, it's hidden things, it's hidden motives, it's betrayal, and it is bad news. So it's exactly as the card says. It's really about darkness looms on the horizon. So you need to take heed, okay? There's danger ahead. You need to go very carefully with everything that you're going to do to make sure you don't get caught up in this. Now that you know, at least you know you have a little bit of a heads up. So if everything, anything ever seems kind of odd to you, kind of seems out of place, a little bit strange for somebody that you know to do something, you know, of the sorts or something, then be careful. Be careful for the hidden motives. If somebody is too sweet to you, you, they're not usually all that sweet or they're offering you something that just seems ooh impossible don't take it it most likely is impossible there are strings attached to it okay so this week please do a, a big 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 effort uh, you have to stay away from anything that is uh, that you don't usually do okay and that might seem a little bit strange um I do have, though, even though darkness does loom on the horizon, I do have the fact that you do have the moon, and the moon is there to say that, you know what, uh, the moon can be a heavenly beacon, but it also has, you know, a dark secretive side, and it can represent also some secrets. It can represent some secret desires or some hidden things. So, I mean, you're all about secrets this week. This is just secrets. People have secrets all over you, and you're not the one who has secrets. It's the people who are around you. So, is it the partner? I don't know. Is it um, just a friend uh, or, you know, a family member? You have secrets that somewhat involve you that are going to, um, they're not going to necessarily um, appear this week, but they are there. You might not know about them this week, though, but you do have to be aware for them because you really don't want to be involved in them. So, um, at the same time, the moon, yes, it has secrets and everything, but the moon also allows you to do a certain discovery. So there is going to be a discovery and you're going to be guided through this darkness. So uh, what was hidden is going to come to light. So the raven over here and the little secrets that were here, they're going to come to light. So you're going to be able to... Uh, to figure out exactly what it is and why somebody's lying, why somebody's hiding things from you. Um, 
And then I have the black cat. Your luck is soon going to change, so that is good. It's really a symbol of mystery. It's a symbol of superstition, of course. When we think about the cats, we think about the witches' familiars. Um, this is avoiding unnecessary risks at this time. This is just a theme in your week this week. Um, your luck is soon going to change because you're going to figure out what is happening over here. And I do have to say, you know, if I look at the whole theme of everything, this is all about your partner. So um, you do have to be careful. Your partner does have some secrets uh, because you are lacking nonetheless. You have a lack of confidence within your partner here this week. Or anyways, it, I think it's been more than this, just this week, but this week more notably. Um, so and that being said, the black cat here is coming to say, you know, that something dark is going to cross your path and it's going to be very puzzling. Of course, until you get the answers here with the moon. And um, so really, it, it's going to be all about a mystery that's just going to unravel itself this week. Um, and we're going to follow it up with serendipity. And serendipity is bright new prospects are on the horizon. So, you know, an, an unexpected uh, favorable turn of events is going to be happening. Um, uh, there's going to be a chance of meeting somebody you haven't seen in a really long time. Or there's going to be, uh, there's also going to be your discovery over here of the secrets. Um, so, you know what? When one door opens and one door closes, another one opens. So, this is just about new opportunities on the horizon. So, you know what? Maybe your relationship is not not going well at all and uh, because you do you do have some wonders over here you are wondering what is going on and um, there's all these hidden secrets maybe you're just going to end up by meeting somebody here not this week but sometime soon you're going to be meeting somebody and uh, it's going to change everything maybe you're going to want to close the door in this relationship whole all together and open a new door with somebody else um, this is, seems to be what the cards are depicting here because it really is about a change of events. It's about a chance meeting. It's a discovery. It's new opportunities. It's really an unexpected turn of the events. So it's really about, and it's really favorable for you. Um, so uh, let's go see what the, um, let's go see over here what the steampunk has to say. So what you have to remember about this here is you're going to you're going to have a bunch of you're gonna have some mysteries that you're going to um, they're gonna be revealed to you this week. Um, you need to be careful. Everything risky. You need to be careful for for betrayal and you know all that. You need to be careful for that. And I, you have a great loss of confidence. And you're going to be meeting somebody this week who can change every single thing for you and might just change the path of this particular relationship. So. Let's go see what's up with this. I have the kisses over here. So let's go see the kisses. I'm going to move the card up and we're going to discuss about the kisses for a little moment. So our kisses here is really all about love. It's about passion. It's about um, personal relationships. It's about it's being playful. It's vivid imagination. It's flirty. It's quick and it's hasty. And you know what? The more that I look at these cards here, I have to say, quite frankly, before I tell you each of these cards, um, you are going to begin an affair this week. This is what is going to be happening. You're going to begin an affair this week with this person that you're going to meet. You're going to give the boot to your uh, current partner. And this here is depicting that you're going to be in a third party relationship. And this is you. And voila, enjoying the sweetnesses of life. That is exactly what is happening. So there you go. Um, I'll still tell you what well I pretty much said it to hear the this here is all about the sweetnesses anything that is sweet anything that is enjoyable until life you're going to be uh, enjoying this is all depicting about um, you know too many fishes in this card here so that really does mean that there is going to be a third party relationship the lady is all about feminine it's all about femininity it's about being delicate it's about being uh, passionate and being patient and the boot is meaning that you're going to boot somebody out of your life so there you go that is what is going out to you this week you're booting somebody out so okay uh, i hope you enjoyed that reading um i hope it made sense to you um if it did not um it's a general reading if ever you would like to have your own personal reading romancefultarot at gmail.com uh, i do wish you much strength much, much courage um if you um i Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for any following readings. I do wish you a fantastic day, a fantastic week, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow with another reading. Thank you for being there, and I'll see you soon.